you know, the revelation of the sovereign power of Jesus eradicates fear. It literally melts fear when we when we experience him as he is, when that revelation impacts our heart of the power of who he is and who's now inside of you and me by his spirit. It's a life-changing revelation, life-changing experience. I am Liz Wright. Welcome to Live Your Best Life. The only thing that matters now is living by the power of this wonderful new creation life. We're going to become an undefeatable force of radiating glory, and we are rising up strong now in this hour. Hi, family. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Live Your Best Life with, of course, me, Liz Wright. And in today's time together, I wanted to share with you some revelation that, well, it was it was revelation, but it came from a profound experience that we all entered into. Everybody that was at the most recent conference we did called The Throne in Winchester. And those of you that were with us or were watching online, you will know what I'm talking about. And those of you that weren't, I encourage you, we'll put the link before, before, uh, below the show so that you can click on. And if you want to watch the whole event, you can get access to it because it was profound and it changed many people's lives and with what the Lord released. What's in my spirit is I want to impart and activate you into what people were experiencing there, what the Lord imparted. I can, oh, Holy Spirit, there he is. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Wow. Wow. Just a different level of capacity to move in governmental authority that the Lord is releasing inside of his people right now. So I'm going to share with you what happened, but just to begin with, yeah, I'll share with you what happened and then we'll go there and I'll pray for you and we can just step in together so that you really, really benefit from this yourself, really get activated yourself because it's for all of us, not just for those of us that were there. The event was catalytic for what he's doing in the body of Christ. As I'm beginning, I wanted to share with you uh, the main scripture that the Lord gave me on that last night. So it's, I'm reading some of the scriptures from Daniel 7, some of the verses between verses 9 and 14. So just listen to this. This is a scriptural foundation for the experience that we entered into. This is Daniel speaking. As I looked, thrones, I'm going to try and get through this scripture. <laughs> wow, his presence is just moving. Whew. As I looked, thrones were set in place. And the Ancient of Days took his seat. His clothing was as white as snow. The hair of his head was white like wool. His throne was flaming with fire, and its wheels were all ablaze. A river of fire was flowing, coming out from before him. Thousands upon thousands attended him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were opened. A little bit further down this passage, Daniel goes on to say, In my vision at night I looked, and there before me was one like the Son of Man, coming with the clouds of heaven. The great cloud of witnesses, in other words. Oh, holy. He approached the Ancient of Days and was led into his presence. He was given authority. This is speaking of Jesus, right? So just really digest this truth, the implications of this truth, this description of what was given to Jesus, of who he is and the authority he carries. He was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. Wow. You know, the revelation of the sovereign power of Jesus eradicates fear. It literally melts fear when we, when we experience him as he is, when that revelation impacts our heart of the power 
of who he is and who's now inside of you and me by his spirit. It's a life-changing revelation, life-changing experience that activates an increase, I've found in my experience, an increase of purity of heart and confidence in who he is and capacity to move in authority through our partnership with him as we have that divine perspective and we have that grace to live from the strength of our union with him and the covenant that we now have with him. So <clears throat> he was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations, peoples of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away. And his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. That's divine perspective to sit everything else in the, into the context of, right? Everything is inferior to that one sovereign reality, that the dominion of Jesus is everlasting. His authority is absolute, is sovereign, and will not pass away, and his kingdom will never, ever be destroyed. The Lord reminded me of Galatians 2.20, it's no longer I that lives, but it's Christ that lives in me. So the one that has all power and authority is inside of each one of us. He wants you to, I can feel it, I can feel the passion in his heart. He wants you to meditate on the truth, on the word of God that reveals to you who he is as sovereign king. Studying Ezekiel, studying Daniel, studying the book of Revelation, just looking at this aspect of who our king is will transform your life and release to you strength and an understanding of the delegated authority that we now have as ones who carry the king. No longer I that lives, but Christ that lives in me, Christ that lives in me. And then final scripture, Proverbs 8, 15 and 16, by me, kings reign. By me, kings reign. That the shift that happened in the encounter that I'll share with you now was about that. The activation of our capacity to operate as kings and queens in the earth, as royalty reigning in Christ. So what happened was during the worship at the event, the spirit realm opened up and as far up as I could see was an amphitheater, a court was being assembled and it was kings, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kings and queens and they were taking their position and the court was in session. Oh, Holy Spirit. And then I began to see hundreds coming in from the cloud of witnesses and I was watching it happening all around me in the spirit and they were on mobile thrones and the thrones it, it was speaking of the the authority that we carry the positional authority that we have now in Jesus and they were they were coming in and they they had golden crowns on and they were carrying scepters and then the ones that were in heaven began to lay down their scepters and they were all in a circle touching each other. And the ones that were in the earth that were all around us in the spirit realm were wearing these golden crowns and they began to impart the crowns. And then what started to happen was that scrolls began to drop containing mandates, destiny, blueprints. Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit. I'm just going to stop there for a moment. I'll carry on in a minute. I just want to pay attention to what Holy Spirit's doing here. Just begin to, if the Lord is witnessing this to you right now, just begin to receive these mandates and scrolls. There was a, an investing into us that was coming from the cloud of witnesses. I saw angels everywhere and I could see Jesus presiding over the whole event where there was impartation of strength. 
there was impartation of mantles, there was impartation of authority, a joining together of agreement between the church in heaven and the church on the earth in Jesus now, one in Jesus now. Like it says in the scriptures, we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, right, who are championing us on, and we attain perfection together. The scripture goes on to say, and it, there's a perfection in scripture means wholeness, right? So often it means wholeness. And what was happening was that there was this coming together, this agreement and strength was being imparted. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just receive that. Oh my gosh. As those that are surrounding us right now were casting their crowns, lending their strength, imparting their mantles, investing into you and into me at this critically important time in human history where the Lord is raising us up as royalty to be able to operate in a jurisdiction that flows from him, that is effective and powerful to set the captives free, to put things in order to bring solutions to the issues of the day through those that are enthroned. And I began to see us all this same way as mobile thrones in the earth. Those that are carriers of the king, his presence, his glory resting on, sitting on us, his body in the earth, the throne obviously representative of his absolute power and authority. And it was activating inside of us. And so, Holy, I just agree with you right now, Holy Spirit. Holy, thank you for my brother and my sister watching right now, receiving this fresh impartation coming from you, Holy, Holy. Oh, wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit, fresh strength, fresh revelation fresh mandates, fresh mantling, fresh authority, fresh divine perspective, everything being activated right now inside each one of us. I can feel him calling you into position, calling you higher, calling you out from under the oppression of the enemy, reconnecting you back into awareness of the authority that you actually carry, who you actually are as royalty walking in the earth. Thank you, Jesus. I can see him clearing visibility, clearing your eyes to the eyes of your heart being flooded with fresh light again to see even more clearly the power and authority that you carry. The solutions, part of what's dropping this that I saw then and I'm seeing now are scrolls of wisdom containing the solution, containing the answer to the prayers that you've been praying to make a way to enable you to move forward powerfully in authority. Thank you, Jesus, equipped and empowered, filled with wisdom, filled with revelation knowledge. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So this continued to happen at the conference and there was just the whole place erupted, literally. We were doing it in Winchester, the original capital of England. And normally, many of you know, if you are English particularly, we we can be very quiet at conferences. <laughs> well, there were a number of nations there, but there were many, many English. And as this experience began to take over this time at the conference, there was this huge eruption as Holy Spirit began to move out and people literally began to receive fresh impartations of power. They received the golden crowns, they received the scepters of authority, they received the scrolls, they received this fresh mantling impartation that was coming from the cloud of witnesses. There was a massive shift, massive explosion. People started to get healed and set free and liberated and like their eyes clearing, there was like an identity shift that started to take place, an internal confidence that rose up inside of people to realize, yeah, we are royalty. We're here to serve, bring solutions, shift off the realm of darkness, advance the kingdom and move forward like Jesus to set the captives free. And it was just profound. So as, the, like I said, the whole place went wild. And then as this, it just continued and we went back into worship and I, I finished everything that I was to share from the platform and I sat down in my seat 
And as I sat down just savoring the moment and watching Holy Spirit be God in the midst of us and people be activated into massive power and authority, the what came out of my spirit was, so what do you want to do next, Jesus? Like, wow, like what, what next? And immediately he came in front of me. Jesus came in front of me in the spirit. And I saw him really clearly and he put his forehead on mine and then he sat back and his face began to switch. Lion, ox, eagle, man. Lion, ox, eagle, man. And then it stayed as the eagle. And immediately I knew that that aspect of who Jesus is as the king and the eagle would become predominant in the expression of his people, that we would begin to see with crystal clear discernment that part of the governing, part of the manifestation of the throne, the authority of God, the sovereign authority of the king coming out from our lives to begin to bring order into the chaos in our lives and in our world at large and to, to bring the solutions and all that the Lord has is, was sharing and has been sharing now, everything that was being released, everything that was being released from heaven, as this started to happen, I saw the, the laser sharp, crystal clear wisdom and discernment that would be activated in all of us. I began to experience it holy holy, 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 just feeling that again from Holy Spirit. <laughs> just begin to receive this. Jesus, thank you. Okay, I want us to do something right now to just activate you into this experience completely. So where you've been in agreement with lies, the Lord wants to clear your visibility right now. Where you have had the dist like a distorted lens over the eyes of your heart. The Lord wants to remove it. He wants to remove everything that has influenced you and brought a belief system into being through what you have perceived, if that makes sense. So right now, Jesus, we thank you that the manifestation of who you are as the eagle will now begin to release inside of each one of us. Lord, wherever there has been any uh, distortion, any influence of darkness that has brought in mixture, we break agreement right now. I break agreement with all the distortions, everything from the realm of darkness that has tried to shape what I believe has tried to influence how I see life, how I see other people, how I see situations. He's, this is, he's really reordering you right now as he's doing this. Where I've lived under the influence of the enemy, where I've been under his feet, not connected to my positional authority as one who reigns from above, seated with you on your throne as an expression of your throne in the earth, a mobile throne fully equipped, fully empowered, fully surrounded by the great cloud of witnesses, fully supported with a scepter, with a crown, robed, filled with you, Jesus, filled with your heart, filled with your word, here on assignment, knowing your ways, knowing the ways of your heart, knowing how to operate as royalty in the earth because it's who I am, to reveal the king, anything that's come in to pollute that expression, to distort my understanding of who I am and of who you are. Lord, I break agreement with that now. Let's take a moment here and listen, tune in to what Holy Spirit's saying to you. There may be specific things that have been really strategic on the enemy's part to block you from expressing the King expressing governmental power and authority. He's washing it away right now. He's washing it away. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to read to you 
a description of what the eagle means in scripture. The eagle, so hear this as the Lord speaking to you about what you are about to experience in an increasing measure beyond anything you've known as he's activating you into this different level of capacity to operate. Throughout the Bible, the eagle signifies the soaring, powerful, transcendent, divine life of God. Holy. So the manifestation of the soaring, powerful, transcendent, divine life of God is got, going to increasingly be what comes from you, what expresses from you. Holy. Holy. In the scripture where it talks about the lion, the ox, the eagle, the man. The eagle is behind, which speaks of hiddenness. So, and the eagle represents the strength of God, right? The capacity to soar in supernatural life. So the hidden source of strength for our life now is Christ within us, right? That's what it speaks of. The eagle inside of us represents Christ the divine source of eternal power, resurrection power, divine life, dispensing through you his glory resident inside of you, meeting your every single need. This is supernatural living. This is These are the ways of royalty, right? It's the privilege of all of us now. And we're going to start to experience this as our reality more and more and more. And what will manifest out of us is power and authority, wisdom, clarity of discernment, seeing as he sees. Every person, every situation, sitting it in the context of divine perspective with such certainty of heart. Honestly, I can feel the Lord like, like this, like power coming out of me as I'm speaking. There's so much power of his presence moving through me right now as I'm trying to articulate these profound truths, but I know that he's activating you. He's causing all of us to rise, to be a manifestation of who he is, who he is, sovereign, restorative, recreative, transformational power, supreme power, incarnating from his people from his people, motivated all the time by love and compassion, bringing order where there's chaos. This is the co-reigning life, right? Strengthened continually by Christ hidden deep inside all of us. And the final thing that the eagle represents is judgment, perfect judgment. Jesus sees things as they clearly are and judges unto life. He restores He's moved with compassion. He restores. He sets the captives free. This is how we are going to move more and more and more now in the days to come. Remember who you carry, whose you are, who you are. Continually have his mind on a matter and then begin to decree according to his intention, with his perspective, co-reigning as a mobile throne, a representation of the king in the earth, carrying the one who is the source of life, who is the solution for every situation, and revealing him in every moment, in every situation. This is what's been activated. This is where we're going increasingly now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for removing today that which is, has obscured our visibility to see as you see. Thank you for increasing our ability to see like you do as the eagle. Thank you for giving us the scepter. Thank you for giving us the crown. Thank you for activating us. Thank you for the cloud of witness that, witnesses that surround us. Thank you for the power and authority switching on. 
we yield to the supremacy of your headship and your intention, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are your story. Wow. Holy, holy, holy. Amen. Amen. If you can, stay with him and just sit with him and listen as he sets you into position, into this new place, this new level of experience in him. And have the most amazing week. And I look forward to being with you again next week. God bless. I'm so excited to announce our first 365 days a year devotional, where every day you will be able to experience God as you begin your day, you'll be able to switch it on and experience God, his presence enfolding you as you begin your day and the truth just pouring into you and his presence just pouring into you. So it's called Experiencing God's Love Every Day. If you jump on to lizwright.org and just click on it and you will be able to download it straight away and you'll be able to begin to experience him. Just, I encourage you, it's what I do as I open my eyes in the morning, I say, good morning, Jesus, and then begin to experience him. And I've just been able to create an asset now where you can do the same experiencing his love every day. It changes your life as you begin each day like this. So yeah, jump onto lizwright.org and you'll be able to find it there. God bless.